Hello, and welcome to TPM's 4-Minute Friday. My name is Dan Warren, and I'm an application engineer here at TPM. In today's video, we're going to look at creating static VR views from a Revit model. Specifically, we're going to look at how to create a virtual reality view from a Revit model and send that out to a WebGL-enabled mobile device so that you can view it on something like a Google Cardboard. This is a very low-cost way of being able to create static virtual reality views of your model. So the first step is to create a camera view from your floor plan. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to create a new camera view. And I'm going to create a camera view here in the living room of this building. I'm going to make sure I drag my view target out far enough so I don't clip my model. And once I've generated the view, there's a couple things I want to check. First, I want to make sure that I'm looking at it in realistic, and this is just to give it a quick spot check to make sure that there's nothing interesting or funny going on with my model. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to check the elevation of my camera to make sure that it's approximately at the correct eye height. So I can see here that this is a 5 foot 6 elevation. I could adjust this a little bit if I wanted to, but it's close enough for my needs. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to push this specific view up to the Autodesk Cloud Rendering Service first thing I need to do is rename my view and now I go to the view tab and use the render and cloud tool and once the tool loads up I can see here this is where I want to pick which view I want to push up so I'm going to go ahead and make sure I turn on that living room view and then for the output type I want to set this to a stereo panorama and from here, I can set the quality, exposure, and width of the image. And as these go up, as my standard quality goes up to final, or I use advanced or native rendering tools, this will cause more uh, cloud credits to be consumed during this process. And that's just because we have more data that we're processing. So I'm going to go ahead and send this up. and Revit will go ahead and push that view up to the cloud and it will start rendering it. I will actually get an email when this process is finished and I'm just going to go ahead and skip a little bit ahead until the process is finished. So my view is finished processing and I got my email saying it was done and now what I'm going to do is jump to the rendering website so I can see my project right here and for every project that I send to the cloud rendering the project name serves as the container for all the views so what I'm going to do is go into that project and in the project I can see here all the different views that I've generated here's the one that we just sent up from the front room and I can look at this I can turn it around I can look up I can look down um, I can sort of just see what this view looks like and I can see it's got this grainy effect and that's due to the exposure type that I sent up um, you may need to do this a couple times to get the settings just right so if I jump over to this view in my kitchen area you can see I've got a much cleaner view it's just because I sent up a better quality view but if I want to share this view with my um, mobile device so I can view it on an Google Cardboard. What I have to do is come up here to the link tab and turn on share via link. And this will give me the hard link to this view, which I can copy and you can embed this in a website or in your blog or or anything you need. Or additionally, you can use this QR code and just scanning this QR code will generate the link to this view and you can go ahead and then turn your phone sideways and drop it into your Google Cardboard and that will give you that static VR view of your Revit model. Well I hope today's video showed you how you can very easily send uh, a view from your Revit model out to a Google Cardboard device. I want to thank you for joining me today uh, for TPM's 4 Minute Friday. My name is Dan Warren and I hope you have a good day.